I can finally top. I got some coffee in my system. I need to gather my thoughts every morning. I am not a morning person, but I am. It just depends. The time literally determines what mood I am. And I'm trying to work on that because I don't want time to determine my mood. I control my mood. And I gotta get ready and it's 7.39. So I am running a little bit late because I like taking my time in the mornings, which means I am running late right now. So I gotta skedaddle. <laughs> Oh my god, so uh, I was like a little bit late, but I got here just on time for Carol. A little unboxing moment. So as I was leaving, there was this package I ordered from Amazon. I got hair clips. You want some? I'm about to not even give you, because you don't even wear them. I gave you some and I feel like you don't even wear them. It's long. The one that you gave me one, is long. It makes sense because you have thick on his hair, you know? Yeah, but so, when I put it on my head, it'd be hitting the back of my head. I don't know. What should I go with? This goes on my fit. And it feels like well, You always go with green and this. No, I don't want this one. You want some? You want one? I'll take a black. But now, uh, I'll it's pick them up later. Hot. I know. It feels like it's giving very much spring vibes. Does that sound British to you or no? No. <laughs> All right, let's rewire my lips because it's very much giving um, SpongeBob after getting super, super tan with the crusty lips. I'm like, do I really want to put? I don't know. I'm going with the KKW lip liner. This is where concentration plays in because we do not have concealer to play with. Then I go with the Maybelline, no, L'Oreal Paris 420 Explore. This is a matte liquid lipstick. Okay, that will do. I was expecting my lips to look like I just got some filler, but I cut an overline and I don't have my makeup right now, so I can't play with it. Also, if you guys are curious about the clips, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten clips for ten dollars. 10 with change, so technically each clip was a dollar with change, which isn't bad. But let's stop rambling and hurry up to work, cause um, I'm a little bit late, more like 20 minutes late, but I couldn't find parking. I always struggle finding parking Mondays and Tuesdays. Wednesdays is Lightworks and Thursdays is a hard no parking. Why does this happen to me? It's giving very much vibes. Ah. Looking like a whole ass dog. <laughs> Don't look at the back of my head. I'm self conscious. Lunch time. Carol is right, ordering. But this is my ordeal every time. I always leave the shop with hella tape. I'm just a tape magnet, you know? No, but it's just easier to put the tape onto my shirt or sweater or whatever I'm wearing because the tape, when they stuck to my fingers for some reason, I'm always fighting with the tape for it to come off my fingers. So the easiest solution is putting on my shirt and then taking it off once I'm home. But. It feels so beautiful and it's pizza day today. Today we are gonna eat pizza. Tell me why I'm walking right with my new bag. I haven't worn a purse for the longest because I don't know why. I've been feeling safer carrying my wallet and my jacket. So I feel so exposed that somebody's gonna rob me from my two dollars, right? Yeah, okay with they rob me from my two dollars, but it's just the fact that I am scared because I'm a target. I'm making myself a target. If anybody could just snatch my bag up. But maybe I just watched too many shows, right? I think so. No, uh, maybe. I think I do. If you guys haven't noticed anything different, we are upgrading our kitchen. So before our kitchen was a little bit um, ugly, but now we're making her a little cute. We added a sink. I cleaned the fridge and then we are missing to build this furniture. What is it called? A kitchen buffet. That's what I saw it was called online. And I was like, well, I would have just thought it was the kitchen wardrobe. But we're gonna replace this little guy right here because 
I mean, it's been really helpful. Not trying to discriminate right here. And it's helped us a lot. But to be honest, it's pretty small and we don't have much space. So we bought a bigger one so we could, you know, put the toaster, the microwave, the dishes. But before Carol built it, let's zoom up real quick. <laughs> I have this mom. Oh. <laughs> Let's get it, boy. I think it'll go the way around. No. Let's it not get it. it. It's Friday and we're going to the beach. I got my breakfast real quick because I am the type of person that hates eating at the beach sometimes because everything just gets sandy and then you just end up eating straight sand. But I feel like this video is just me being happy and taking it in that spring is here and summer is right around the corner because I'm not even going to lie. I think your girl had a little bit of seasonal depression which is understandable and that's why when it's spring I'm able to do more things I feel more alive I could go out I could enjoy what I like doing outside because in the winter you really can't do much but I got my typical iced coffee with my bagel a sesame bagel with cream cheese I'm also about to straight up be jamming right now windows down driving with music is just the vibe I don't know it's just it, I guess your girl is at a season of depression as I said I feel like it didn't hit me hard but low-key I didn't notice till right now but I've been into my Spanish era right now and I've been listening to Peso Pluma like everybody and their moms is but I swear I don't know it's a vibe and this is me I go through eras I guess or like phases where if I'm in love with an artist that's all I listen to because before Peso Pluma it was Raul Alejandro before Raul it was Bad Bunny so basically what I'm trying to say is that I'm a half trender but no low-key I be loving every type of music so I can listen to anything and I'll literally jam to it and be like I like that song but the vibe I'm feeling today is like Spanish rock so I might just end up listening to Spanish rock on my way to the beach <gasps> oh my god I should have brought my speakers Bruh. Turn right. Made it. Um, kind of forgot my pepper spray. So in any case, I have to do some self defense, which is I have to act like I have something because I really forgot my pepper spray. And to be honest, I don't want to walk back because I'm already out of breath first, and it's hot. I underestimated the 70 degree weather because I'm like it's gonna be perfect weather, but to be honest. It is getting a little hot and that's why I take advantage right now to go out like right now because 70 degree weather is weather I could do. I think above 80 I'm dying already. Drenched in sweat and hating summer. And here comes the pickle. Don't know if to go left or right. I think we should go left. The worst thing that could happen is we get lost but we find another path and we find the beach. I also didn't bring the right attire, the fit attire. Look at unbelievable iced coffee gotta include that in the fit i got this big baggage with me a carhartt vest a crew neck and sweats and i don't even got chocolates i should have been more prepared but i was just like if i don't get up and do it today it's not happening so i literally got ready cut it out notice it was hot and i'm like if i go back in i'm just staying and i do think we are going the right way because i see the water it's high tide. So Miss Mother Nature had other plans for me. High tide. I made it and it is not what I expected. I expected a beautiful sand with a blanket, cozy up, reading a book. I even brought my book. <laughs> but first, the tide is high. Second, it does feel cold here. Third, there's so much wind that none of that would have been possible and realistic. But you know what? You always gotta go with the flow when it comes to life because that is one thing I've learned. Never expect too high. And if you are, don't get disappointed. Just go with the flow. Because I've mentioned this before. The way I was before, if this happened to me, it would have ruined my whole mood. I would have been upset and like the whole world is against me. But in reality, you're putting yourself against your own self. You don't need to get mad about certain things or get upset or let a little thing ruin your mood you're the one that dictates your life you just gotta grab that control back into you because right now everything is one left as you guys saw from this video but just just live life to the fullest don't get mad don't get butthurt easily and that's pep talk 101 with Vani. i'm gonna try to 
read the book i'm reading right now is the 101 essays that will change the way you think it's always nice reading books like this because it makes you view things differently so i brought my little highlighter and i am gonna be reading for a little bit and enjoying this view how much i love mother nature i want to go to seattle just to see those humongous trees and just hug it even though is out of context like why would you want to hug a tree but i don't know it's <laughs> just something i want to do and something that's in my bucket list okay uh honestly the beach kind of humbled me <laughs> um we're gonna go ahead and run some errands now i have to pick up my sephora order from walgreens it's from the vip sale i got 15 percent off but i'll get more into that once you pick up the package but i'm so excited so let's head to pick up my package It's VIB whole time um, packaging my Sephora package. For the first tier, you get 10% off. Second tier, 15, which is the one I'm in. And third tier is 20% off. So I did buy a couple of a lot of things. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I wasted $300. So I kind of broke the wallet. Somebody please take my debit card. I got these things. I am missing one more package but mostly everything came in this box. We're gonna start off with Charlotte Tilbury. This is my first time buying from Charlotte Tilbury. I got the classic Pillow Talk mini set, which was $25 if I'm not wrong. I got the shade Pillow Talk, and this is not the only one I got. I got all the other shade ranges of Pillow Talk. So I got Pillow Talk 1, I got Pillow Talk 2, which is medium, Pillow Talk 3, which is intense and i just wanted to get all three shades because i want to find the perfect baby pink but i could have just gotten away with the first one i'm not even gonna lie but i might as well just get all three of them if there's a sale you know because my total without the sale would have been 360 and with the sale it went down to 300 dollars, not including tax and i was a little bit salty too because sephora wasn't letting me add my 10 dollars points off which you know you accumulate your points and then you could get money well it turns into money so i had ten dollars and sephora was like no you can't combine a sales with the rewards i'm like really you guys are scamming us already either way then i got the other thing to go with the minis i got the lip gloss in the shade pillow talk then the next things are from rare beauty first time purchasing items from rare beauty as well i got the famous blush that everybody loves but i got the shade bliss which is the one that is matte with this one, if I'm not wrong, a lot of people say you could get away with putting a lot of product, but with the other blushes, it's only one. Then I got her bronzer stick in the shade Happy Soul. Another thing from Charlotte Tilbury. Whoa, I did get a lot of things from Charlotte Tilbury. I... This is a joke. I thought it was going to be more travel size, but not a mini, mini size. But I got the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. Then I also got the famous setting spray. I really heard good things about this. And last but not least, I got NARS items. I got the NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. I got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Mustard and Custard. What? I got the shade... I guess custard reminded me of mustard, but I got the shade medium one in the shade custard. And last but not least, well, I'm waiting on the last item, but either way, last but not least, I got the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade medium two sun type fit. I've heard really good things about this foundation, so I want to give it a go, especially since I haven't really found my undertone when it comes to foundation. This foundation is the Rare Beauty Foundation. Although I love it, it's definitely not my shade. I could get away with wearing it, but my neck and my face whole different colors this rare beauty foundation is more orangey and then the warmer side and i don't think my undertone is warm so i think it's neutral so this is an undertone foundation with neutral tones and the last item i got was the huda beauty cherry blossom powder which tiktok influenced me but those are all the items I got and can you believe this was worth $300 and now we gotta put away the makeup but every time I get new makeup I just get the urge to start cleaning all my makeup brushes cleaning my makeup drawers which I think I'm going to do before we start cleaning not me always getting distracted let's take the makeup off and see if the foundation is my shade I took off the bottom half of my makeup and we're gonna see how this foundation looks 
Oh, it's giving she a little light. Wait, hold up. Is she light or is she not? Ah, oh, she giving a little light. Maybe I needed the shade after this. I'm having a dilemma. She is giving a little too light. I'm gonna have to return this tomorrow because I need the shade after this one, if I'm not wrong, which would be, I forgot which one it is, but this one's two, I need 2.5. Cause she's looking undertone. She's, she's looking there. Cause this is, are I, am I warm? Ah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. finished weight training i usually do cardio right after on the treadmill but to be honest i don't think my legs are gonna be able to handle that right now so i am gonna do cycling as an alternative oh my god i am exhausted my legs are trembling that's also because i missed a week of the gym last week the gym was closed one week might seem like nothing to you guys but it definitely affects your whole mood and low-key i feel like i'm doing less weights like i said i feel like that one week affected me crazy but i'm gonna do some cycling for 15 minutes and finish off my workout with some abs i am the definition of beat i don't even want to finish off my workout with abs but low-key i've been neglecting my abs i've been working out everything else glutes arms quads everything but my abs and i'm like how do i want a skinny body and not work out with my abs also i need to work out on my calves because calves we don't have her and we have none but Let's just get to it and finish off because I am starving and I can't wait to get a little bit of Starbies as a reward. You will never catch me drinking water at the gym. Only after my workouts. For some reason when I drink water when I'm working out, it makes my stomach hurt. So I always make sure to be hydrated before I start my workout. And then I drink my water literally once I'm done working out. We've been here for like almost two hours. It's time to head out. I also have been carrying my gym bag with me because I forgot my locker. I don't think I'm gonna change. Call me a little musty, but it's okay. I'm just gonna put my jeans on top of my leggings and my moccasins. And then we're gonna start heading out. Let my dogs out because we're not trying to get athletes, but over here. Fun little story, when I first started hitting the gym, I started lifting weights as much as I could. I thought I was fine. I was outside with my friend and I literally fell down in public, which was so embarrassing and it's all caught on camera. Legs are shaking. That's how you know it was a good workout, but if you guys didn't see what happened yesterday, um, the Norse Foundation was not my shade. I was looking a little ghosty, giving I'm about to haunt you for life. That was the most corniest joke in my life. I am so sorry. But I'm going to go ahead to the mall real quick so I could change my foundation shade. Because I didn't just waste $50 for me to just keep that foundation. Because I would be the type to just keep it if it wasn't my shade. But no i wasted 50 dollars, so we're gonna go and change her and hopefully the lady can match me so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna go myself try to match myself and then ask the sephora employee mm -hmm. just can, like dr d she's oh, always i'm hearing stephanie sue just in case of you guys are wondering i love listening to her podcast when i am driving i'm gonna match myself as an employee and hopefully we could you know combine our minds together and pick the perfect shade i got my shade so i came into sephora i didn't even tell you guys but i already knew what shade i had an idea of what shade i was gonna get which was gonna be stromboli 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 and that's literally the shade we went for she honestly said i could have gotten away with using santa Fe, but i i didn't agree with her is because it just looked way too light compared to my neck i know bronzer could save a look but it's also summer so let's keep that in mind i feel like stromboli was definitely my shade on x opinion also replica is overrated 
I had to say it. Like, I like it, but I don't. It's just, I still can't find my favorite perfume. Maybe I'm just not a perfume gal, you know? The one I really did like was the beach on a walk or walk on the beach. Definitely gonna get car sick if I don't open the windows. But now I don't know if I should get Shake Shack. I'm gonna call my mom and see if they ate. Darn it. When you wanna order food, but your mom's like, there's food in the house. But let's go get Starbucks because my siblings want Starbucks.